Hi, I'm Rhoda. Welcome to my channel. This is one of my favorite formats. It's coming at you next. We have compound strength moves with light dumbbells and we're going to move quickly. So we're creating a cardio workout, but it's weighted cardio. It's low impact, so it's safe on your joints and it's going to get that heart rate up into a fat burning zone. If that's a type of workout that appeals to you, please subscribe to my channel. There's never a cost to subscribe and you help me keep your fitness free on YouTube. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, are you ready? Let's have some fun. A lot of movement in this. Kind of let it go. Just feel your body work. Bring your knees up in front. You kind of focus on that and think, wow, look what I can do. Even if you're just starting out, maybe you take longer rests or you use light, light, light weights. Recognize that you're working hard and you're doing good things for yourself. Your future self is kind of thank you for that. <laughs> Reach out. I'm using super light dumbbells myself. So I'm using five pounds, but maybe you could use three or two if you're just starting out or grab a couple bottles of water. They're lightweight and there's just something to hold on to. Practice using resistance because we are going to move. We want to get that heart rate up and do a fat burning zone for this workout. Now, we have six circuits, four exercises in the circuit. They're going to be 45 seconds each. And then our fifth, fifth exercise in the circuit is 60 seconds. We're going to do some burnout fun. Okay. Yeah, fun. All right, grab your weights. We are swinging this through. So weights next to each other. You're going to bend your knees if you can. Bring it up in a V. Pump it. And back down. Here we go. Bend up. Pump up to the V. Now, you can hinge here. Take some of that bend out. You need to protect the knees. Just think about flat back. All right, so back is flat, head stays up above the heart. If you're hinging forward like that. Otherwise, throw that deep bend in if you can. Feel how the heart rate's already coming up? So we've got a strength move, we've got a swing through, which is core. We're working the lower body with the squat. We're working the shoulders with the pump right here. Good. Okay. Moving on to a squat to a shoulder press. Now we have 20 second press. That's going to allow your heart rate to come down. So then we're going to bump it up. Give you that hit effect, high intensity interval. All right. We're going to squat and come up with a press right there. Or, okay, you're going to do a rear leg raise, put the foot down and press. Here we go. So you're doing the squat with me. Keep moving. Right here. And then the leg raise, you can raise it, press, raise it, press, just like that. Stay with me, come on, feel it. Compound move, lots of different muscle groups. That brings your heart rate up. All those muscles that are working right now, they need oxygen. So, you're asking that heart to pump it onto them. And rest good. All right, I'm going to put one weight down. You can hold the weight on either end. We're going to step wide, toes out a little bit, squat. So both knees bend, weight between your knees, come up, or you can step wide without the bend, and up, and we alternate sides. Let's go to your right first. You ready? Get your breath. Here we go. Down, up, other side. Abs are tight, weights in your heels. Sitting back, like you're sitting down into a chair, you're doing this squat. Otherwise, you're stepping out, activating the legs, but taking away the bend. Shoulder focus in this first round. All this upper body, overhead, working the shoulders, working the core with the swing through. And of course, the lower body is active pretty much all through this workout. All right, I'm gonna grab both weights. We're gonna 
overhead press. Same leg rear leg lift. So bringing in the glutes here, nice and hard. Gotta feel them. I want you to lift your heel first. Deep breath. Keep the foot a little flexed. Here we go. Lift, lift. And we are lightweight. Pick up your pace a little bit. And do this without weight too. When it gets too heavy. And this is our fourth round on shoulders. It's heavy, put it down. Keep moving. I always say, if you're moving, I'm smiling. And I am. I want you to move. I want your body to work for you. You need to do the work to get the reward, right? Which is being lean and strong as we age. It's one of the many rewards, but that's a good one. And rest. All right, burnout round. Couple options. We're gonna do a squat series, or you're gonna change the squat into a leg raise, all right? So it's one, two, and then we pulse. Three, two, one, or you're one, two, three, two, one. Here we go. Squat with me if you can, weights in your heels. Pulse it, pulse. Drive it up, squeeze. Doing the leg raises, still getting a little work. Get up. Pulse. This is 60 seconds. If you need a longer rest, take a longer rest. But if you can push through, I got a benefit bonus for you. 40 second rest. I don't do that very often, those of you who know who've been working with me for a while. But the goal of this workout is hit. Heart rate up, heart rate down. So for those 40 seconds, I'm gonna bring it down. Come on. You come this far, finish with me. And then rest, nice job. First circuit's done. One of six is out of the way. Now, catch your breath. We're gonna step with the weight in your right hand to your left, okay? I'm gonna do a side lunge. You're gonna come in with the weight, side raise as you press the weight. So again, lots going on. You got the side lunge, lower body, in around your thighs, you come up, leg raise, glutes, sticking with some shoulder work here, arms and shoulder, chest, also bicep as we curl it up. So see how these compound moves work everything? It's pretty cool. I do love these workouts. Are, are you ready? Here we go. Bring it out, curl it in, and press. Good. Watch your teeth as this weight comes up. Whoops, yep, there we go. I want to get forward. It's a side raise we're doing here. Can you hear my breathing? I can hear it. Finish this one, finish with me. There it is, nice. Okay, go on to the other side. Heart rate is low 130, so that's what we want. It's right in my low cardio range. Let's step on out, other side. How do you find your cardio range? Well, I mean, your watch will tell you your heart rate, right? But I'm gonna tell you how to know if that's good. Over, bring it in, lift. Take the number 220, subtract your age from it. That's your starting number. So you see everybody's number is different. It's based on their age. You multiply that number by 0.65 and 0.85. That gives you a range of what we call 65% to 85% of your max heart rate. So 220 minus your age is your max heart rate. Above 85% of max, you're really getting out of the cardio zone. Different energy supplies. You want to stay in the cardio zone. I want to stay in the lower half of that cardio zone to get the most fat burning benefit. And then rest. Good. Okay. I'm going to step back in a rear lunge, or I'm going to give you a modification, okay? But if you can, step back, twist, 
bring it forward and up. I'm going to go sideways for this so that you can, so I have a little room. Modification, lift, lower, twist. Okay, ready? Here we go. Take it back, twist, four, lift, lower, twist, just like that. I call it change legs there. I'm sideways, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Whoops, see the balance? I just lost my balance. I want to work balance. My clients know balance is a big part of their workouts as I work with women middle-aged and beyond. This is an awful 40s middle-aged, but think about it. 40s only halfway to 80. So I guess we can call that middle age. If 80 can be old age, right? <laughs> that I like. Okay. Whew. Back onto curtsies. We're gonna grab both weights, okay? We're gonna curtsy back, stand up, side raise, right? Top of the shoulders here. Right leg moves first, okay? Deep breath. Here we go. So if 80 is old, then I can say, yeah, almost 60. I'm not old. I like that. So, 40 at middle aged is not a bad thing. Sit back in this now. Anytime we're doing these bending things, all you do is go through the motion, right? Take the bend out. You still engage that glute muscle a little bit as you bring that foot back. And you ready? Burnout round number two. We're gonna do those curtsies with pulses. So you're not going too deep. You're still gonna get back as far as you can. Weight in your back toe. One, two. Three, up, Wait your back toe. One, two, three. Now, you can curtsy with me and get nice and deep. Keep the shoulders up, weight in the back toe. Here we go, pulse. One, two, three, drive it up. Shoulders up here, chest is up. Do not lean forward, hinge just a little bit at the waist because body dynamics you're gonna have to. But try and stay as upright as you can here. These pulses really, really, really challenge the muscles. So we need fuel. Fuel of choice is oxygen. That's what we're doing here. Getting them to ask your heart to pump a little harder. Plus, doing some good toning too on the muscles. You know, using light weights, getting a lot of reps, using a lot of muscles at the same time. So, in the 40 minutes, you've done an awful lot of work. So, be proud of it, okay? You are a third of the way through this workout. All right, so, palms are gonna face your legs. We're going to do a deadlift. Tiny bend in the knees. It's not a squat, but I don't want you to lock your knees, okay? So, a little bend. You're gonna come down in the deadlift. Palms facing the knees, row up to the shoulder, down, stand up, high row. So, get the back of the shoulder, get the top of the shoulder, while we keep the heart rate up, catch your breath. <laughs> get ready, we're going. In three, two, do this with me, here we go. Take it down, row, drag it up, row, hinge, row, up, row. Now, hips way back. Weight in your heels there, drive through your heels, hips forward, squeeze the glutes. A lot to think about, I know, but I want you to get all the benefit you can get here. Feel it? Finish with me, come on, come on up, and squeeze, good. All right, one weight for this one. We're going back to that alternating rear lunge. So the leg goes back, as the leg goes back, the weight passes through. As the leg comes up, weight comes up on the side. So side raise again, 
If you're not bending, still hinge, bring it up, all right? Get ready, here we go. And up, and we move on this, okay? Make it a little bit of a dance. You do that with this light weight. This workout is all about movement, heart rate, muscle toning, which happens with the light weight and the high reps. Doesn't mean we don't want to lift heavy sometimes, but it's good to have variety. You lift heavy one day, you want to go light the next, or work on a different body part. I'm slowing down. Wow, I felt that, slowing down. Okay, wait right here. We are going to come into a chair squat as you come up. Leg raise, squat, leg raise. Take the squat out right here, okay? Add that squat if you can, just brings that intensity up. Get ready, on the clock, here we go. My feet are together, We're very close. Skier or chair squat, this is called. Let's call it a skier squat. Ski season's coming. And that makes me happy. I live where there's no winter climate, and I don't mind it at all. Because I love getting outside the winter. I love to ski. Tons of over the head, right? You can push your arms overhead like this. Blood has to pump up, so the heart has to work a little harder. Just another trick to get cardio without jumping. All right, we are on to a deadlift to a fly. So a fly is when the arms come out to the side. You gotta lean with your elbows down, fly. When you stand right in that position, hammer the weight. Ready? Take it down, fly. Bring it up. Hammer. So, elbows lead, elbows in, right there. Inch forward, meeting the heels, come up, drive the hips forward. So, hips back, come up, hips forward, squeeze. See where they come on. Breathing hard. Good. All right. For our burnout round, we're going to really incorporate the upper body. Okay, we're going to take the weight, we're going to punch it up, up, across, across. Push, pull, push, pull. A lot of upper body movement, but I want you to rotate the body with me. Squeeze the glute when you turn that glute right there. Squeeze it. Here we go. Up, up, across, now down, push, push, bring it up. Abs are tight, twist with it. Sixty seconds on this one. This is your burnout round. Come on, push with me. Put the weight down if you need to. Try and keep going though. If you truly need to rest, I give you the permission to rest, okay? Next time, you'll go a few seconds longer. But I'm telling you, with practice, before you know it, you're gonna get through all of these rounds. I say that from experience. I've been doing this a long time, working with women, starting from not exercising, getting to where they're doing amazing, amazing things. And that's you too, okay? You can do it. I mean it. Wherever you're at, wherever you're starting, be comfortable with that. Be proud of the fact that you made a choice to take care of you, okay? And every day, you're gonna get better and better at this. All right, are you ready? We're going to a bicep curl. Rear legs. Now, elbows stay in here. See this a lot. First of all, you're aiming at your face, don't do that. But more importantly, well not more importantly, because <laughs> you don't want to hit your face, but as important, we want that upper arm still, 
We want the bicep to contract right here. Ready? Contract, contract. Feel the glute muscle. You don't want to be lifting high in the back. You don't need to be a rocket here. I've said that for many years. So as soon as you start to make this go high and lean out of it, you take the butt work out. Right here, you should feel it. That glute muscle is contracting. Abs are tight too. Really working biceps. Getting tired? Five pounds and I'm getting tired. And rest. All right. Whew, nice job. We are sticking with biceps, okay? I want you to follow this pattern with me. We're going to do what I call a bicep triple. So first we'll do seven curls. And then we'll do all the way up, halfway down. And then we'll do halfway to all the way down. So just follow me. Here we go. Seven regular. One. Elbows in. Now seven halfway down. Halfway up. There's one. Two. Now on this next one, all the way down, halfway up. One, two. Just finish with a few regular curls, all the way. Full range of motion up and down. And rest. Good. Okay, I did say this is a lightweight workout, but we're going to do some oblique leans, and you can do that with heavier weight. If you have dumbbells, if you have water bottles, it's a little more challenging, but if you have dumbbells and they're light, you can cross them over each other and hang on to them. All right, you're going to curtsy lunge, curtsy, come over, lean, ready, right leg. Curtsy down, come up, lean, and move, let's go. Curtsy, up, lean it. This your waistline here. Your bum, glutes right there. Thigh, lots going on with the leg there, but also abs, obliques. Stay with me, come on. Together here a little bit, switching hands, crisscross. Your left leg's gonna be moving first. Get a good grip on these weights. Deep breath. Going in three, two, one. Here it is. We're getting there. Almost on this circuit. Never burn out. Right? seconds. Come on. And rest. Excellent. All right. One way. You're going to divide the 60 seconds up. First 30 seconds, we're going to punch one side. Second 30 seconds, the other. So it's this. Punch across. Bring it in. Twist. Okay. More ab work. 30, about 28 seconds in. Let's change hands. Okay. Get ready. Right arm. Here we go. Punch it, in and twist. Punch, twist. Shoulder down in this punch. Be strong. Don't bring it up around your ear. If you have to bring it up around your ear, that means your weight's too heavy. Put the weight down, do this without weight. One more. Switch it, other side, strippy. You gotta, your body got used to that one side, so 
takes a couple of scripts sometimes <laughs> to get used to doing it on the other side. Just did it. First is coming, come on. Finish, finish, right there. Nice, all right, take a break. Take a little break. Deep breath in and out. We are moving on to working some chest, okay? So, gonna hold the weight right here. Gonna go out to that wide squat. So again, a lot going on. Squat and stand, one, two, three, four. Squat and stand, one, two, three, four, okay? 10 seconds, we go. Toes are out towards the kind of front corners of your room here. Second position ballet, a little bit wider than that. You have that in your history. Get ready for the squat, here we go. Squat and stand, punch it. One, two, three, four. Squat and stand. shoulders, you're also getting that chest engaged here. Got more chest to come. And rest. All right. Whew. Going to one weight, overhead tricep. Now, we're going to bring the weight behind your head. As you come up with the weight, balance work here. Side leg raising down, leg raising down. We've got high reps here, so it's light but it's gonna get heavy. Ready? Lift. And think about relaxing your neck, elbows towards me. Don't let them go out. See how they're out there? They look a little out here, but they're not. I'm pushing them as close to each other as I can, I'm squeezing. I want you to do that too. Feel how it's getting heavy. Whew. Come on. And almost there, 10 more seconds, we can do it. And last time, maybe I could have thrown one more in there, but I was getting tired. Okay, grab your other weight. We're gonna kick back, so triceps still, but we're using the weight lower than over our head, so it's lift, lift, all right, move with me. Right arm and leg first. Deep breath. Here we go. Lift. Now abs are tight. Squeeze the glute. This one going with your weight down. Go back to those wide squat, squats and obliques. So into the wide squat, all these prisoner hands right here. We're gonna squat down, pulse three, two, one. Bring it in and up, and then the next time we'll go the other side. So we'll go to your right first. Ready? Deep breath. Here we go. Three, two, one. In and up. Get down there, then do your pulses. Come in, then stand. And up. Good. Feel it. Feel the legs. Feel the obliques. Uh, we are amazing, right? 
And that worked out perfect. Then even on both sides. Okay, I'm gonna talk you through a tricep triple. Remember the bicep triple? Tricep triple. So, do eight. We're gonna start with our arms bent. Lift back, bring it to the hip, okay? Doesn't come up in a curl. Don't waste the energy. We wanna focus triceps. Here we go, 20 seconds of this. Lift, back to the hip. Lift. Breathe, Just drop the shoulders. Lift and back, lift. Straight arm, but then it's that lift. Just watch this, none of that, okay? Drop those shoulders. Feel this in the back of your arm. Bend, straight and lift, straight and lift. And now palms facing the back, alternating, lift, lift, lift. Stay with it, if you can double these, it's hard. Double them up. If it gets too hard, go to the singles. The last one here, it's a doozy, okay? And the palm face me, lift, lift. Try a double. See how hard that is? Burning. Okay, burning it up here. Go to your singles if you need to. I need to. Good. Are you ready for your final circuit? We did it, we're almost there. Let's bring the weight down. We're gonna start. With a glute bridge and in our out of thigh here, okay? So, you're gonna bring your heels in as close to your bum as you can. You're gonna drive the feet up. Up here, you go wide, squeeze, and down. You're gonna bring the weight up as you go up, weight out as you come down, weight up, all right? So combine that bridge to the wide, to the wide legs, like this. Up. Down, here we go. Up and down. And up. And up. On this squeeze right there. Up. Now heart rate will come down a little bit because we are on the floor. Your heart doesn't have to work as hard when your head Shoulders and arms are at the same level. But still getting that cardio, and we're doing even more toning work. All right, on the two weights, you can have your knees up here for this, your beginning. Open, close, be more advanced. Take the leg out as the weight goes out so we get the upper and lower body working. You ready? Here we go. Oh, and down. And right up. Feel it? You should feel the abs work here. They are getting a workout. Feel with me.
full body crunch. And those of you who know, we might know what our burnout round is gonna be. But we will get there. If you don't know, you'll be surprised in about 60 seconds. All right, right here, full body crunch. Knees to the shoulder and back. And a kick if you'd like. So here's your starting out intermediate. If you're tired like me, right here. But if you want to kick this, go right ahead. If you're kicking, just make sure you feel your lower back is in control at all times. Now, some of you who've been with me on this channel you know that I'm wearing a back brace right now. I'm going to protect my back. As much as I want to kick right now, I know that just one kick could really set me back. That's why I give you modifications. Because I want you to use them and not feel bad about it. Feel good about working out and being safe at the same time. All right? It's no good if you do something that's going to hurt you and then tomorrow and the next three months you don't get to exercise. That's no benefit. All right, have you figured it out? Or just we've got a forearm plank. So, right here on your knees. Hips towards the mat like something's pulling your belly button or up on your toes. Feet wide makes this a little bit easier. Breathe. And again, if you're up here, come down here. See, I'm in the flat plank. I put my knees down. My body position is the same. Whether my knees are down or up. That is not a plank, okay? You're not getting those abs. So here or there. And take a rest if you need to. I haven't done much planking recently. Getting through this full minute is gonna to be tough. And I haven't taken a break, so take another one. I'm still contracting the abs, it's just not quite as intense. Pop it up, hang in here for another 10 seconds or so, maybe take another break, which is not really a break, it's just lowering the intensity just a little bit right here. Again, my back. I'm gonna hurt it. I want it to get better. Five seconds, can we do it? Yes, we can. Whew. I'm thinking back to when my kids were children. All right, that's three beeps. I've added some time here to really gauge my cool down. I don't want to go over the 40 minutes. Let's round your back. Yes, we can. I think that was Baloo's clues. Flatten your back. Round it again. And flatten. And if you're around my age and you've had children, you probably remember blues, blues too. Rock back here. Bring the hands behind your head. Body weight down on the elbows. Get a nice stretch here. Let's come on back up. You have one leg forward. And one back, make us S or a backwards S. Come down wherever you feel good here. I'm stretching your glute. A lot of glute work in that workout, which is a popular muscle to work. Other side, also very popular, are abs. <laughs> like my clients know, I say, abs are made in the kitchen. They say, oh, I don't have abs. I say, yeah, you do. We all have abs, or we'd be jellyfish on the floor. We need structure to hold our body up along our, with our skeletal system. They are there. How you see your abs come on up is by eating nutritious, good food. Lean forward. It's the sugars and the processed carbs. The white stuff, right? The white stuff, other side, that causes the inflammation and causes that belly fat. So, you really are serious about seeing your abs. Think about cutting the sugar. Lift your toe up. I know when I don't have sugar, it takes a few days. First few days are really hard. Won't deny that. You'll have cravings, you have to push through it. But by the third, fourth day, you stop having the cravings. Your insulin response settles down. Other side, you might sleep better. You'll feel mental clarity. Lots of great things happen when you 
take that sugar out of the equation. It's a little one side. And your abs start to show. So that's where we started in this conversation. It was about abs being made in the kitchen. Bring it up. It's hard to eat well, I know. But it's so worth it. It really is. If you gave yourself the four days to find out what it feels like to not have sugar running through your system, I guarantee you'll see the difference. And you'll realize how you feel right now if you eat sugar and processed carbs is not how you can optimally feel. Like you can't, if you are not at your optimum. But we do it, and we've done it for so long, and it's in all of our food, or your shoulders. We don't even know what it feels like to not have it. So that's something you want to work on. A little plug here, deep breath in. I do coaching through kickoff. There's a, a link in the description. If you want to talk to me further about diet and nutrition and exercise, you can go there, you can sign up for a free consultation, no pressure at all, you know me by now. Just exchange of ideas and see if it's something that you might want to pursue. Uh, if you need help getting into a better nutrition and exercise routine. On that note, I'll say goodbye, have a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me.